Her then husband, Robert Sangster, won the Melbourne Cup with the stallion Belldale Ball. Belldale Ball, Johnny Letts beats my blue denim. Trained by Colin Hayes and ridden by John Letts. This was the best. This was the Melbourne girl winning the Melbourne Cup. The 1980 Cup trophy, beautiful trophy, won by Belldale Ball, has a secret history. It was actually originally awarded in 1953 to the owner of Wodella. But when I started looking into that question further, I made an extraordinary discovery. Exactly the same thing had happened in 1953. It was a, a recycled trophy. And the theory, which isn't quite proof, but all the circumstantial evidence leads us to say that this has to be the missing cup. The 1980 cup is one and the same as the missing cup that Farlap won in 1930. And if that's so, it's worth a fortune. Nobody could have imagined in 1980 that the trophy was Farlap's cup. He was a beautiful mate. Was he very special to you? I tell him that he was. But ironically, Farlap was at Flemington on Cup Day 1980. It was amazing that that day Farlap had been restored and he came down the street in a Perspex box to look at, and I'm going to get teary things, looking at the running of the Melbourne Cup. And he was there, and I won it, we won it, and he saw the proceedings. I mean, it's a spooky story, I think.